what you're giving, that's how we live it. Don't be mad at the system, it's simply how we've existed. Tarot 2, 2, 2, 2. And today it's Aries turn. We're asking God and Spirit for a word about your love life. So let's get to your reading, Aries. For you, Aries, we're using the richest modern tarot deck. One of my favorites. Very diverse, multicultural. Got us black people on the deck. So we'll be using this for your main part of your reading. So let's get to it, Aries. Let's see what I've gone for or no. And look at the bottom of the deck, Aries. You are still in this energy, for real. You're still looking at the things that you've lost and not realising what you fucking have. For real. You're not grateful for what you have. Can you not see these two children standing behind you wanting your attention and your love? And you're looking at these three people that you've lost out of your life. Or maybe these are two other things that you're ignoring in your life for the sake of these three things that you've lost. But God and Spirit needs you to turn around, Aries, because you still have two remaining cups, overflowing cups, that are willing to pour into you, but you are ignoring them. So I feel like you are still in mourning. You're still in mourning, maybe over a relationship, over foundations that got crushed, that came crumbling down. But something you're not facing. So I see that you're looking away from this couple, from this from this family, from this foundations. So I feel like you lost your foundation, your strength. For a lot of you, you're coming up out of a relationship and you're feeling quite weak right now. You're healing. Some of you lost your home. A lot of you lost your partners. Maybe you walked away, because I see that you walked away, you turned your back. But it still hurts. You're still in pain, you're still missing these people, that person. Whether it's a man or woman, you're still missing them. For some of you, you got kids with these people. I see two, maybe twins. maybe just two but not even they're, they're not even getting your attention right now you're just sad you're sad you're thinking about everything that's happened you're missing this person or these people because there's three of them there and I feel like these people or this person was your foundation it was your everything and now you're a little bit lost but look what's coming in for you, a Pisces, a Cancer, a Scorpio. They also want to offer you love, Aries. They've been watching you. Look, he's been over here, she's been over here watching you sad from behind. They also want to give you foundations. They also want to build with you. They also have the ability of moving you into this new house, setting up home getting married, stability, being balanced. Here's 1111. This person also has the ability to balance you out. They're offering you a cup of love. Look, a Pisces, Cancer, a Scorpio. They wanna help you in this time of need. I see them coming in. Maybe you already know who they are. So I told you, they want to put an end to this. The Ten of Swords, the other card says, it is fine. So they want to come in and help. They want to come and take your mind off this person that you're still checking up on. You're still on the phone with this person that put the swords in your back. You're still speaking and communicating with them, even though it hurts so much. But this Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio... They see all of this and they still want to offer you love they want a whole new beginning with you they want foundations with the four of wands leo sagittarius and aries so they want it with you they want to build foundations with you maybe this pisces cancer or scorpio is the one missing you 
because I was thinking it's maybe it's you, your base energy, but that could be the Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and here they are coming back, missing you, used to live with you, and here they are coming back, offering you love again, they want to put an end to what they did, so there's two reads there, one is you left, you're sad, you're still getting over it, you had to leave the home, Someone else is here to offer you love, to end the heartache. Or this person walked away from you. Or you walked away from the Pisces and this is them sad. Sad that they can't come home. They still want to build with you. Here they are coming back asking for another chance. Because they want to end, they want to end their mental conflict. They've been communicating with you on the phone. And look, a whole new offer. A Virgo, Capricorn or a Taurus. Oh my God, Aries, what a go on for you. You got so much people coming in. But really, this is the Pisces again. Look, the same Pisces giving you the same cup. But they're coming up against the Virgo, Capricorn or Taurus. So I feel like, because it came under the Foundations card, maybe you was married to the Virgo, Capricorn or Taurus, or you had Foundations with them. And this Pisces, Cancer or Scorpio was left out in the cold. They're the ones that was left out and was looking in on your relationship. And now here they are wanting to offer you love because your heart's broken. Maybe that relationship's over with the Virgo, Capricorn or Taurus because there's an ending. So maybe the ending is this relationship and here's a new offer on the table because I see them coming in twice. So maybe they asked you twice. This person is serious though. They're coming in twice, Aries. They don't think that the Virgo, Capricorn or Taurus is good for you. Or maybe it's the Leo, Sagittarius or the Aries. But I feel like maybe it's the Earth energy. Because here's the Earth energy again. The Eight of Pentacles. I thought there's an offer coming in for you, an offer of love. This offer is going to be able to make you be able to build. They want to create with you, they want to build with you. This person coming in, I feel like you're not going to have a family business. You're going to build together. You're going to be creating babies. I feel like in the month of September, someone's coming in to give you an offer. If it's not September, it's going to be January or it's going to be April. But I really do feel like it's around September time, there's an offer coming in for you. Someone is coming in with an offer of love. And it's either the Virgo, Capricorn or Taurus or the Pisces, Cancer or Scorpio. These two people, or maybe it's both. Because this is two separate offers. Look, this is two separate offers. One's divinely guided, stable, longevity. But this is also stable, but it's very immature. It's very young. So either the person is younger than you, or this is the beginning stages of your, of your relationship. Because look, they mature into the king, but there's some work to be done. I feel like you are working together, building your relationship, making it stronger, having children, growing. Look, getting married. This is my ring card, six of wands. Always been my ring card, the ring, being rewarded. Going to the church on your horse. Getting the rewards that you want. And look at this, double confirmation, Aries. I told you, everything is fucking fine. A lot of these swords you put in your own back, you create a lot of mental anguish for your own self. Everything is fine, or it's going to be, because look, it came straight after the Six of Wands. So it cancelled out whatever was going on. You're being rewarded and celebrated. Your friends are looking at you like the bride or the bridegroom. Jealous, because it's your day. You done the work. You put in the work for this Aries. Now here you are. 
first you was here, fucked up at the end, couldn't take no more. But it's the same card, right? Everything is completely fine because the 10 is the end of the bullshit, end of it. And look what's coming in for you fast with the cancer energy. I feel like there's going to be some rapid movements going on for you going into September, coming out of August. I feel like this person's going to move towards you or people because it feels like there's two energies the earth energy and the water energy. One you've been with, or maybe one you've left, and one that wants to come towards you, or one that you're entangled with somehow. But I feel like. If you're not already here, the minute you get here, because the offer comes in, they want to get married to you. They want to give you love. That love is marriage. You lot start building and growing. Get to creating your special wedding day. Everything is now fine for you. You're no longer stressed. You're no longer worried. You're no longer depressed. You're no longer suicidal. You're no longer crying yourself to sleep. And that shit ended fast. God is where it took away your tears. Because someone came in. Or someone came back. Let's see what I go on. So look, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. I feel like your ships came in really fast. So maybe that special person returned. Or that person, that new person came in. And when they came in, oh my God, it's like your feet didn't touch the floor. This has been happening for a lot of the signs. A lot of world wind romances is going on. Maybe you go on holiday and you meet someone out there. Or maybe someone holidays out in your state and you just fall in love. But you're going to meet someone that you, you're not ever going to expect this shit. Literally. Because you're hooked up on someone else. Look at your energy. You're still pining over someone else. You ain't looking at no one. You turned your back on all these other niggas over here. But someone's going to break down your barriers, Aries. Someone's coming in really fast. Someone you don't expect, or maybe you do. Maybe you know who I'm speaking about. Some of you have already been in contact with this person. But I feel a lot of you are yet to, to meet this person. They see you online. You might have even spoken online. But you haven't met in person. That this person is on their way towards you. They see that you've ended a relationship. <laughs> one of you is doing some manifesting. Which one of you is it? Huh? The magician. Have you been manifesting love, Aries? Have you been manifesting love? Because love is about to love. Hate you. Look how it ends. On the chariot card coming in fast it's either you or your other person has been doing some serious manifesting you've gotten in touch with your spirit team guys Aries know who they are look at that standing in your power I feel this is your energy. I feel this is you getting stronger after this person broke you down. You come back stronger, more resilient. Your ships have come in. You manifested this shit. Look at this. You manifested change in your life. You took a new direction, maybe a new relationship. Some of you are going to go on a holiday, you're going to cross the waters. But I feel like someone is thinking about coming towards you. Oh, but some of you are thinking about going towards someone else. So some of you are contemplating a holiday. Going towards someone that you've spoken to online or you've been speaking to or maybe you've got a long distance relationship. You're contemplating making a journey. 
Why are you making the journey though, Aries? Why are you taking the trip? Oh, okay. So the Four of Pentacles, you're contemplating going towards a Virgo, Capricorn or Taurus. You're not ready to let go. So yeah, some of you Aries are in a relationship with a Virgo, Capricorn or Taurus and you're not ready to let go. They hurt you, maybe you walked away, but you're not finished, you're not, you're just not. Like you're literally here thinking about taking a plane, a boat, a car towards them. You want to still hold on to the relationship. You're not ready to let go. You're not ready to let go. But I feel like it's a two-way thing. You're still bound to each other. You're still bound to them. But I still feel like you're refusing to see the fucking truth, though. There's a reason why you let them go while you walked away. Here you are, still bound up with the Eight of Swords, refusing to see some truths about this person. Maybe they done you dirty. Maybe you're not seeing what's really in front of your blindfolds of Aries. That's to some of you. There's a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, though, that wants to offer you love with his Queen of Cups. Or maybe it's a king. Some of you are just stuck in your old ways, stuck on your old boo. But they're not good for you, Aries. They're really not good for you. Like, literally, look, they got you bound. They're keeping fucking secrets. They're keeping secrets from you, Aries, man. It's getting me angry. Like, I've got a, my spirit is getting angry. Look at that. They got bitches lurking. They got guys lurking. Like, you can't, they can't be trusted. They got Gemini energy. They're two faced. This person is two faced. They're keeping secrets from you. But I feel like you already know the truth. And here you are, Aries, the Emperor. You know the truth. So I feel like something's gonna come out. Something that's hidden is about to come out really fast to you, Aries, because you're refusing to fucking see. So for those of you that are still hanging on to whoever it is, the Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus, that one that you're holding on to, that you're thinking about going towards, I'm telling you, don't you dare. Don't you fucking dare. This person is still lying to you. Still lying to you. Still got bitches and cunts lurking. Two-faced motherfucker. Shit's going to be revealed so fast. Yeah, so fast. Mark my words. If it hasn't already come out, it's about to come out. Your blindfolds are about to come off of you like you are not Aries. I told you it's coming in fast. The fastest night in the pack. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Maybe someone's coming in to tell you some truths about your person. They're about to tell you. Because here's the sort of truth. I'm ready to cut some motherfucker off. So this person is rushing in to tell you. Oi, 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 oi. Don't take them back. Listen, 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 Linda. This motherfucker. Someone is rushing in to tell you the truth. And then once you do find this shit out, here you are. On your own, walking the fuck away this time. You're no longer sad. Your head is held high. Look at you here. Look at the energy change. You act like you've done something wrong here. Like you was in the fucking wrong. Because that person used manipulation on you, turned the tables on you. But the minute the truth is revealed, here you are. You're set the fuck free. Do you not understand? You're set free, the sword of truth. Someone is coming in to give you some fucking truths. To take that blindfold off, to cut it off your face, so you can be set free to go about your fucking way. Because a lot of you are going on a whole new fucking journey. Whole new relationship is coming in for you, I told you. Coming in. And look what's coming in straight after. Marriage. Marriage is coming in for you, Aries. I told you. I told you it's for you. They're coming to marry you. Ain't this you? Are you all that? The ones. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. The new motherfucking start for you. Coming in for you. Marriage coming in for you. Start coming in for you. Like, literally, 
if things are looking dark right now, don't worry. God has designed it this fucking way. Because whoever you're with, whoever you love right now, maybe they're just not the one for you. I don't care how much you think you love them, Aries. They're not the fucking one. Yeah, God and Spirit is bringing someone in fast for you, but they're also bringing and creating an end. An end is coming in for you. Not quite a tower moment, so not as harsh. But it's coming all the same. And then the new beginning comes in. A whole new fucking start for Aries. Someone wants to marry you. Someone wants to really marry you. Be with you forever. Because they think you're the fucking world. And with this card it ends all the karmic bullshit you've been going through. Because a lot of you are stuck right now with a karmic partner. That's not who you're supposed to be with. Your soulmate is coming in. That karmic person you're with is just there to teach you some lessons, baby. Take those lessons and blessings and move the fuck on. Go about your merry motherfucking way. Because the world is about to be your oyster. Situations are about to turn around. Do it with me. Turn around in your room as I say it. Turn around. Turn around. It's all turning around for you, Aries. Fuck all of that. Fuck what you heard. Because look... Your ten of pentacles is coming in. So look, I told you, your person could be coming back. But as long as you continue to keep on these blindfolds to the situation at hand, nothing will improve. We need you to take off the fucking blindfolds. Stand in your fucking truth and set some boundaries in your relationship. If that doesn't work, we need you to leave. Because another Virgo Capricorn Notorious is coming in for you. Or maybe it's your Virgo Capricorn Notorious returning. Fix the fuck up. Fix the fuck up. Ready to be stable. Have children. Settle down. Get two dogs. Why? no longer indecisive because here we are again Libra, Gemini and Aquarius we're back to square one what do you choose Aries? do you choose to stay with someone that makes you miserable or do you let go and move to something totally new and exciting because it's coming it's there the only thing holding it up is you. Your refusal to let go of this person, these people, but I say this person. You're holding on to someone. But this person continues to hurt you. Continues to be oblivious to how much they hurt you. I feel like you tell them everything is fine when it's not. When you're literally dying, you're literally fucking dying. And here you are, everything's fine, baby. No, it's not. I'm fucking dying because you did it. You need to stand in your truth. Because these swords are swords of truth, Aries. And I feel a lot of you are refusing to let go of people. Refusing to see what the fuck is staring you right in your face. You're so caught up in emotions, because look how much water there is. You're so caught up in emotions with this person, you're just, you just don't want, you don't want to see it. You're scared of rejection, scared of being alone, scared of being a single parent. Maybe you grew in a single parent family, you didn't want this for your kids. But it doesn't matter. It's time for you to leave, because you're going to be rewarded and recognised anyway. Regardless, your children are going to be happy. Like, you staying doesn't make your kids happy. If you're unhappy, your children are unhappy. Six of Pentacles says that a Virgo Capricorn or Taurus is either coming into your life or returning back to make you happy. To help build back your strength. To help build back your strength. Because I feel like you lot are feeling quite weak and defeated right now. You're just feeling like defeated. Defeated like I give the fuck up. 
I keep trying, I keep trying. And it's just always all these walls erected in front of me all the time. But I feel like a lot of you just keep standing in your strength though. You don't even need someone to help you stand. You're strong all by yourself. You're strong all by yourself. But here's the Capricorn energy. Some of you still have a devil in your life. I don't really feel addictions. I feel like it's a person. I feel like it's that person. It doesn't have to be the Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus. It's your person. The person that's not good for you. The person that keeps you in that five energy. Not feeling great. Not feeling worthy. Not feeling loved. Feeling left out. Feeling like shit's happening behind your back. Got you all paranoid. But I told you, someone is watching all of this. A Pisces, Cancer and Scorpio. Mark my words, they're coming in for you. This is the baby card. They want babies with you. Abundance, a bundle of joy they want with you. So, double confirmation, an offer is coming in. And here's my baby card. Oh, good. Your last three cards. And I think they're going to be your thumbnail because they're so beautiful. Look at this. Look what's coming in for you. Come on. So for some of you, your Virgo, Capricorn or Taurus is going to fix the fuck up. They are. Because there's an there's a offer coming in from the Pisces, Cancer and Scorpio. Also from the Virgo, Capricorn or Taurus. They also want a baby with you. This is also my baby card. So two people want you to have their baby. It's coming in. You're going to be confused. And look. They want to marry you. Now look at that. Everyone's fixing up all at once, Aries. <laughs> but it takes for you to stand. You're making these people fuck around. you got to set boundaries. you got to set the pace. you got to get rid of this devil in your life. Or you got to put boundaries on this devil in your life. Because look, as soon as you do, offers are coming in. Two offers. Marriages, births, engagements, celebrations. You're just happy as a motherfucker. We're cheersing to you. I love this read. I loved it. So let's see what the tarot cards, I mean the oracle cards have to say for you. Aries nearly called you Pisces there, see? A Pisces is coming in for you. Let's get the energy cards to clarify this read. At the bottom of the deck. <laughs> patience, Aries. Patience. We need you to have some patience. The angels want you to have some patience in this time. You're healing. They're helping you to heal. The situation is turning around, but it all takes time. Look at the clock. I just saw that. Do you see? I feel like a lot of you are clock watching, waiting for this person to come back. Patience. God is working on their heart. Just like they're working on yours. Told you. Look what's coming in. Walking the fuck away. Some of you need to do this. Pack your shit, pack your kids, whatever it is, and leave. It's not working, hasn't been, it's not going to. Someone completely new is coming in for you. But I feel like a lot of you already done this. You've walked away from people, places, and some things in your life. You just walked the fuck away. A lot of you are standing out here alone. Alone. Look at this. I told you. You let go of people with the goddess of the moon. You let go of certain people. You went within, you asked your spirit team, what the fuck do I need to do to get right? You trusted your tuition when it said that motherfucker was sneaky, underhanded, and you let them go. So yeah, you walked away. And here you are having some patience, waiting for a better future, waiting to see if this person fix up to come back.
Wow, see, you had to walk away. This person was full of shit. They were just a hostile motherfucker. Some of these people you walked away from, they were hostile. That's why the hostile car, hostility car came in. You had to, for your fucking peace of mind, literally. They had you thinking you was literally going mad. You had to trust your gut into your gut instinct on this one and walk the fuck away. You just walked. I feel a lot of you just walked away. You're about to be victorious. I told you, rewarded and celebrated, baby. Come on. You're gonna be victorious, man. Hmm. <laughs> Look at that. Double confirmation, the word card comes out. You're victorious of the world, so everything that you want is coming to you now. Your broken heart is about to be healed, Aries. Because I feel like when you let these people go, or this person go, your heart broke. It broke. But this was the very thing that was needed to open the world to you. This was the very thing that needed to happen to release you so that you could be victorious. So that the world could be your oyster. Some of the person that we love is the person that is our block is blocking us. He's blocking your success, blocking your growth. God and Spirit sees what you cannot. So I see a lot of you is gonna be victorious. Maybe you're gonna be getting married, passing your exams. Leveling up, promotions, open up a business. But what I do know is that you're going to be victorious in love. Do you see that ring? Someone wants to marry you. Some of you are already married. And someone wants to marry you. Someone wants to heal your broken heart, Aries. Because your heart is truly broken. We started it off with you being broken. And here you are, healing. Cause it's not completely broken anymore, but it is still healing. The number nine, so I see that you're coming at the end. Ugh. I thought I just bought my drink. The person coming in is gonna appreciate you, Aries. Look, number 50, number six, rewards and recognition. This person wants to step you up they want to heal this broken heart they want to come against all these hostilities and show you some appreciation they want to show you some love i feel like you've already met this person for real because this person sees the deceit that you've been going through maybe this person told you about it or witnessed it. But this is the devil card again. So you have the devil in your life. You're still harboring the devil. You're still refusing to let it go, refusing to see. That's for some of you. Some of you, you let go of him, her. You let go, you did it. But there is a group of you that have not. You might have let go of them physically but emotionally, boy, you're here. You're here. You're all tied the fuck up. Emotionally, you're bound. The Nine of Swords, back again. But the door to spirit is open for you right now. We need you to go through it. There's healing through this door. There's healing through this door. Your spirit team is waiting to heal your broken heart. Do you see where it landed? On your broken heart. So we need you to go through the door to spirit. A lot of you are not even in touch with your spiritual side and we need you to be. God is at play in your life. The things that you want is not the things that you always need. So God knows that whoever that you're loving and you're missing, they were taken for a reason. God sees the deceit that they've been doing behind your back. 
sees that you're all tied up because of this deceit that this person is doing to you. And the minute you go through that door to spirit, look what comes in for you. Your world starts to blossom with abundance, man. Babies, weddings, families. Because you go on your right path, you find your fucking life purpose. This person is stopping everything for you. You're so wrapped up in their world. You don't give a fuck about your own. Your life purpose. Your purpose why you're even here on earth. You weren't here to cater to this person. And here you are. Some of you are going to move right the fuck back home. Because <laughs> here you are. I'm out. I'm leaving. I'm out this bitch. And then here you are after the person fixes up. Honey, I'm home. But for some of you, you're moving out of one house into another. From one relationship into another. Maybe from the Earth, Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus, to the Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. Take it as it resonates, Aries. But I see big changes coming in for you, man. And look, here comes the strength card again. So we need you to stay strong. We really do. Because to get to your Ten of Pentacles is not going to be easy. I'm not going to lie. You're going to need to rest and rejuvenate for this trip. Because, boy, is it going to be one hell of a ride for you, Aries. You're going to have one hell of a ride. But trust and know the daughter value is open for you. That person values you, man. I told you they appreciate everything about you. They love you. They value every bone on your body. So where you're hooked up on this other person, somebody's hooked up on you. And look at your last card. No, it can't be. The one more's coming out. I give you these two. The sun and a woman holding a heart. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Told you. Love is yours. They're offering you their heart, Aries. Do you want it? Or are you going to still pine after the Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus? But this Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio wants you. Because they can't take it anymore. They're coming towards you. They want you to have their son. They want to give you everything. They want to shower you with love. How amazing is that? Love is coming in for my Aries. But is my Aries ready for love though? Are you really, really ready for love? Have you really done that fucking work? Because this shit ain't all bed of roses, you know. It's not. Relationship cards coming out for you. Bottom of the deck, it is safe for Aries to love. So please, can you open up your heart one more time to give and receive the highest energy of all Aries? Because I feel like it's been a one-way street for you. You've been giving too much and not receiving half as much. But first, we need you to heal those family issues because we know you have them. Hence why you're trapped with the person you're with, this devil. Because as your love life will benefit as you forgive your parents. It's a word, man. It's a word. Time to forgive, man. Forgive your parents. Forgive their abusers. Forgive whoever. Don't have to speak to them, but you need to forgive. Not for them, but for you. Because we're calling in Aries soulmates. Soulmates coming in for my family. Because all of your prayers and your affirmations and visualizations help bring you together. So I told you, get to pray and get to meditate in the door to spirit is open. But come on, everyone got this one. Everyone that I read for, let go of those control issues, Aries. It has to unfold naturally, please. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. God is in control, man. And what did I tell you? Separation is on the card for some of you. You need to leave that demon, that devil. Because time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Figure it out. You might come back together, but right now it's not working. I swear I said it in your last read. 
It's not working. You're beating a dead fucking horse. Separate. Figure out if you truly love each other. If you do, do the fucking work. Put down your boundaries. If they can't meet them, oh well. Pisces, Cancer and Scorpio is waiting for you. Waiting. Virgo, Capricorn or Taurus is waiting for you. Very soon. So clearly decide what you want with this magician card. So that it comes to you, Aries. Why? When? Tell me when. Now. Come on. Now. So stay optimistic, please, about your love life. Because you're like, fuck love. I don't need that. I'm about my bag. Fuck that. But I can't keep you company at night. But I can't give you babies. So please, start thinking positive. Because that positive thinking and faith is going to bring you the romance that you want. Somebody's attracted to you, and maybe you're attracted to them. But you will attract more romantic love in your life when you lighten the fuck up. Put some passion back in your life. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. So yes, lighten the fuck up, man, because love is coming in for you. Someone is going to cherish you. I see this person looking you in your eyes. They got passion for you. They're coming in to tell you what they think about you. And when they do, you're going to be singing with joy. Trust me. You're going to be wondering, why did I waste my time on that idiot? Like, literally, this person's going to come and show you what the fuck love really is. You think you know. Look what they're bringing for you. Children is coming in for Aries. For some of you, your love life is being affected by children right now. Because you don't have any and you want them. For others, you have them and your partner doesn't. And maybe there's a clash in your home. He hasn't got no respect for your kids. Don't respect your parenting. But whatever it is, children are affecting your relationship at this point. But I feel a lot of it is because you don't have them. You're needing them, you're wanting them. The person you're with is not stable enough for you to have them with. So yes, it's affecting your love life. It's affecting your life. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real, Aries, and worth exploring. So if you've already met this new person, please hit them up. Hit them up. Because it's true love, babies. It's true fucking love. This is going to be abundant and stable. This is the romance of a lifetime. Not that demon. Finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. So maybe that's the reason why you walked away. Maybe you just keep arguing over money. The lack of. The lack of his... Maybe he procrastinates too much, hasn't got a job, you're paying for everything. Maybe it's the other way around, she's not doing shit, you're doing everything. You're sick of it. I just feel like you're sick of it, but the person coming in, the one that wants to offer you this love, look at that, true love. This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner that you seek. So a lot of you already met this person. Maybe you bumped into them at the supermarket, walking down the road, driving and your eyes met four, online and you jumped into each other's DMs, Tinder, wherever, swipe left, swipe right. But you've met them. Maybe they're a past life relationship where you haven't even met them yet, but your spirits have met in another life before. But it's saying you've already met this partner that you seek and they could be the one. It's time for you to lighten up and start flirting. I told you, swipe left, swipe right. Do something. Fix up, look sharp. Extend your light-hearted energy to others. To others. Because you're giving it to someone who's deceptive to you, who's very deceptive towards you. Deception, Aries. Someone is wearing a false self-mask in this relationship. I told you. So now it's time for you to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with this person. It's either you leave or you set boundaries. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. 
express your love though go ahead make the romantic gesture that's telling you to those people that know that new person you've met and you've got butterflies it's telling you go ahead they're the one you can make it because you're not going to get rejected this person actually wants you but we need you to keep an open mind aries because the soulmate coming in for you just may differ from your usual type and expectations so look at that that was amazing aries that was amazing you got your girl sweating so we know that god is in the room spirit is in the room let's get your angel answer cards and then your girl is out 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 bottom of the deck your situation will improve aries it's going to improve it doesn't matter what it looks like right now that shit's about to change for you let's I did shuffle them, but I want to shuffle them again for you. Oh, they threw one out already. Look for a sign, they said. So it's going to improve. Just look for a sign. So that means you need to start meditating, right? To see signs, you need to be meditating and praying. You need to be in touch with your intuition to see signs. Because they think that you're ready. You're ready for this new love coming in. You're ready for whatever they have in store with you. And look, it's coming out again, so I have to give it to you. They want you to seek help. They want you to ask your friends. Or maybe just go through that door to spirit. Helpful people. They want you to come for counsel. So I feel like they want you to come towards them. Your spirit team. Or maybe just go towards your friends. And ask their advice in your situation. Because maybe you're keeping it all to yourself. And to yourself, it sounds alright, innit? But the minute you say it to me, I'll be like, girl, you need to leave. Boy, you need to come up out of there. Two heads are better than one, people. So it's time to seek out a community of helpful people. Or maybe just go to your pastor. And if you can't do all of that, go on your knees. Meditate and pray. Your spirit team is right there. They need you, though, to communicate clearly what you want with the magician card so that it comes to you now and look be fucking assertive man your devil is taking you for an idiot like trust me on this they're using your kindness for weakness we need you to be assertive aries because your abundance is coming in your bundle of joy is coming in nothing can stop this blessing they can hold it up though. What did I tell you before? Big motherfucking happy changes is coming in for you. I knew it. I just didn't know the card was coming. And look! <laughs> Second time. A lot of you are sitting down with your depression. Let's get serious for a minute. A lot of you are sitting down depressed. Not talking, not speaking to anyone. And your health is getting worse. Your mental health is getting worse. You're crying. We need you to ask for help. We need you to ask for help, Aries. Because within the next few weeks, sorry, the next few months, the next few months, yeah, just the next few months, they're going to change things around for you. But you need to... To make the step you need to get more information you can't make this person turn you mad you need to communicate clearly what you want so that it comes to you now you need to sit down and have a conversation a heart to heart conversation with this person these people but i say this person with this person if you want to make this relationship work this is the time to get all the way serious, get all the information, and then you make a decision. But for some of you, it's just a fucking hell no. It's a hell no to that relationship. And I'm telling you, like, it's not going to work. You've been trying to make it work, and it is not going to work. Your spirit team is not having it. They're not having it. They're not having it. They said no with an exclamation mark. 
But they are saying it's up to you though, Aries. Look at that. It's all up to you. You can do what you really want. You can stay trapped and bound with your devil. Or you can move towards abundance and happiness. Big happy changes. But what they do need from you is for you to take action and take it the fuck now. They need for you to do it, Aries. It's coming in. And look what came back out again. I didn't want to take this card. But they've given it to me again. Someone wants your forgiveness. And I feel like they're coming back in the new future. This is for the ex that's returning. Because I felt like... I felt in the beginning and here it is again. Someone is coming in for your forgiveness in the near future. They're about to fix up and look sharp. They've been leveling up. They want to come back home. That person that walked out the gate and coming back. This is them. So there's quite a few messages coming on. Some of you, hell fucking no. Some of you, mm, maybe... And for, and for most of you, new fucking love. It's time for you to listen to your intuition. Listen to it. Once you do, success, baby. You will succeed in everything that you do. Everything that you put your hand to, marriage, relationships, babies, work, anything. Because you're the head, you're not the tail. Aries, you're going to be successful, but I'm not lying to you, you've got a lot of work to do. Some of you already there, you've done that work, you got rid of your devil, you're like, Dan, I did that, I did that, I'm standing alone, I'm here. For you, I applaud you, but I'm speaking to those still stuck, bound, trapped, upset, alone, sad, heartbroken. Don't worry, I'm telling you, don't worry. Go through what you have to go through, just knowing that better days is coming. They're coming for you, love is coming. For those without children wanting it, your children are coming. I saw them, you saw them. They saw you. To that person that is at home, taking the abuse, feeling like they're not good enough, not worthy enough for anything better, till death to us part and all that other bullshit because of religious factors you're taking the beating you're taking the abuse you're taking that mental torture listen come and join me on Instagram jump into my DMs call out your girl yeah I'm gonna be that helpful person that, you, that they're talking about me and you's gonna talk it over we're gonna put our heads together and we're gonna come up with some solutions so yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this read. It was amazing. It had so much different twists and turns. For the most part, you're all getting love. But there is work, 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 Aries. Work. Cause I keep telling you lot, you're the head. You're not the fucking tail. Come on. Say it with me. You're the head. You're not the tail. So listen. You are going to be successful. But we need you to listen to your intuition. Go through that door to spirit. For those of you non-believers, time to believe. It's time to believe. The minute you believe, you will succeed. Alright? This is your girl, D. Virgo Tarot. 2222. Sending you Aries. Love, love, and more love. Are we gonna play now? Ready for the show? I'm about to take down, you already know Get the fuck out of my face now, yeah you got it